everyone, The Musical Ghost here, and this video is about the project breakdown of one of my original songs for Pump It Up Phoenix, and it's titled Lasha. You can call it Loxia or Lasha, I don't really mind, but I prefer to call it Lasha. If you haven't checked it out, I'll leave a link to the song in the description below. So let me give you a little bit of backstory for the song. Well, I made this song back in 2021 and it just got released in 2023, somewhere in November, I think, or October, I forgot. So yeah, uh, 2021, it sounded way different than what it sounds right now. So here I'm going to show you what it sounded like. As you all may know, this is my first ever debut in a rhythm game and I'm really happy and I'm really proud about this so that's why I made this video as thanks for 4,000 followers on Twitter. Alright, let's start with the intro. I'm gonna show you how it sounds like. Let's start by isolating the sound effect that I use in the start of the song. So this one, I I got this um, sample, Mission failed. and I I passed it through uh, a high pass filter. And I got this another sample, which is a computer sound. So I just chopped up the beeping part of the computer sound and uh, added uh, and added a reverb to it. So it sounds like it sounds like this. So I added a rising vocal sound to it as well. There's also the long ambience of uh, it's a pluck and then a mandatory clock tick that pans from left to right. There's also this uh, reverse fill and this one. There's also a sub drop at the beginning. So for the violin, I have two layers of violins. They both have the same um, patterns and sound to it. Uh, the difference is that on the first violin, it's only a violin in a VST. It's a free VST, and it's really, really good. I, I, I like using this one, because it's uh, one of the best uh, free VST of a violin that I could get anywhere. Now this one, I had my friend Orangey Music to transcribe my violin pattern into a real violin sample. So I just layered the two violins and it sounds like this. So for the piano, I'm using this VST from Flex. It's free and it's really... It sounds really nice for me. That's why I used it. It has this... Um, 
uh, trans pads layered on top of the piano, which I, uh, which I really like about it because it kind of creates this uh, ambient sound that I really like. Here's what it sounds when I play it. I also added a destructor to it. It's basically a uh, distortion with a bit of a bit crunch to it. So this synth here, I just took the uh, the starting point. So th th that part is this thing. Now let's talk about the build-up of this song. Here's what the build-up sounds like. For the drums, I have uh, several elements in it. The first one being the uh, percussion loop. This is an aim and break with a lot of effects in it. There's also a pitch going up for the snares. And also the strings for the fillers. I'm using the Free Orchestra short string and some synth loops from Zymatic's uh, dubstep pack. I, I put it in a high pass filter. Uh, there's a panning synth arp going on as well. and as well as chip arps and some ambience and a sub bass so for the vocals uh, it's just um, the vocal sample pack from uh, Vengeance, and I just mash it up together. What happens when life breaks down? My name symbolized all that was corrupt to society. His name symbolized all that was pure, and I was being held in the embrace of a man who was pure. So these sounded like uh, this one. What happens when life breaks down? And I, I just passed it into a bit crusher and a band pass EQ to sound like, like this. What happens when life breaks down? My name symbolized all that was corrupt to society. His name symbolized all that was pure. And I was being held in the embrace of a man who was pure. And I was being held in the embrace of a man who was pure. So that's that, and I also pitched it down, so it, uh, it gives that kind of a robotic feeling to it. So this one, I also got this from the Ultimate uh, Drop, Pre-Drop Pack. Radio contact with the outside. And I just throw it in the Bit Crusher and added some... Radio contact with the outside. For the sound effects, I added um, a trans sounding um instrument from also from flex it's very subtle but it's uh, it's an additive so yeah
That's basically the build-up part. Alright, let's move on to the high-tech drop part. It starts off with a kick first, and then the hats, and then the hats and snares combined. I also added a lead on the second drop. This lead is uh, from Flex again. This lead pattern right here, it's the same lead pattern that I put in Mahika. So the additional synths, uh, it's here. As well as the, uh, as well as some chord loops from the future bass uh, cymatic sample pack. So I added this acid bass pattern as well on the second drop, which is a uh, a saw bass with a flanger and panning to it. There's also this uh, mid bass that I used for the high tech drop. So now for the vocals. Uh, I have some chopped up vocals from various sample packs. So basically, the, the it's the same vocals for, from the first drop to the second drop. I just copy pasted it and added a little bit of variation to it. Let's talk about the second buildup that comes after the high tech drop. So first, uh, 
there's an overall um, filter to the, in the main filter that I uh, that I added, which is basically a low pass filter, and it, the piano sounds like this. And the uh, same goes for the violin. There's also a short piano here. It's just a piano with no release in it. And there's also the lead again. And another chip arp. Some ambience. And a sub bass. So the first thing that you'll notice here is the the clock sound. It's the same clock sound as the one from the beginning and as well as the computer beep and uh, just put a volume automation to it. So for the vocals, it goes like this. You're going to do this. I'd like to know how you dealt with it. You were running away from me. What did that make you feel? And then here's me whispering Lasha. Lasha. I added a vocal deck, so I added a flag, uh, some distortion to it, and an OTT. So I added some ambience as well. And then, and then for the drums, it's just a simple snare build up with, uh, with an then aim and break at the end. So let's go over to the dubstep drop. So for the dubstep drop, I have this uh, a very powerful snare from, again, Cymatic sample pack. Uh, it's in the Cymatic's uh, Mothership dubstep sample pack. Sounds really nice. Uh, these are the drums uh, in the in the dubstep drop. Now, let's go to the synths. So yeah, um... A lot of these came from the Cymatics dubstep drop sample packs. And I layered it with uh, with a with synth. Which 
which is the same pads as the one from the high tech drop, as well as a lead. Uh, there's also ambience in the background, which uh, you you don't really hear, but it fills that emptiness up. We have the sub bass here that goes along with the dubstep synths that I mentioned. Uh, this uh, sub is also from Flex, um, as well as some sound effects uh, to fill some parts like, like this beep here and a uh, vocal chop So let's talk about the break part of the song. In the short version, which is uh, in the pump it up version of the song, the break part is cut in half to shorten the song because it needs to be under two minutes. The whole song is uh, somewhat like 2 minutes and 30 seconds, so that's why I had to cut it off a bit. So here's the break part. So for the first half, there's no drum instruments in it, and uh, as the second half comes in, we have that uh, rising uh, snare build up again. And uh, during the uh, break part, there's also the short piano, it's, uh, it's the piano with no release in it. as well as the lead from the final drop, which I will show later. There's also synths in the background playing along. And this one is also from uh, the High Tech Ninja Sample Pack. I have this pads. I used serum for it. It's a simple saw card pad with a bit of a reverb and EQ in it. Layered on top with a flex pad that I used earlier. The sub bass and uh, a mid bass on it. So for the mid bass, I used a, a preset from Serum. So now let's talk about the vocals here. An unidentified object from outer space. Extraterrestrial alien life forms. So this uh, voice sample pack, it's... I got this somewhere. And it's the same sample pack that uh, Akira Complex also uses. An unidentified object from outer space. 
Akira Complex was a huge inspiration for me, and this is to show respect to them. Heaven and Earth. This is the same sample pack which uh, Akira Complex got the Heaven and Earth sample from Ether Strike. Astral alien life forms. They come from another world. <coughs> Nine. Eight. Seven. Come on. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ignition. Let's get it started. And the obligatory woo. So for the sound effects, I I added a additional trans sound effect to it. This one is also from Flex, and uh, as well the as well as the other sound effect. It's also from Flex. And lastly, here's the final drop. So here are the drums for the final drop, which is basically all of the hats and um, rides and snares combined. While that's happening, there's also the piano. And the piano. And for the violin. And then for the lead. It's a layer of a chip arp and a despair lead. It's a layer of the chip arp and the square lead. Yeah, there's also synths here. I have this uh, orchestral hit, which is also from Flex. And then I added uh, some hypersoft chords. And then an um, arp loop. And then uh, before the ending, I added a little bit of a dubstep part. So for the bass, I have a. Uh, I have two mid basses going around so that, that that's the first mid bass and then the second mid bass is the the one that i used earlier so it goes along with the sub bass
And then for the sound effect. And this is the ending sound effect. So yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, thank you for sticking to the end of the video. Again, thank you so much for supporting me all the way here. This is such a big opportunity for me to be featured in a rhythm game. That, that was my biggest dream ever and you helped me make it. So stick around for more music soon. Peace.